All right, this is gonna be a chopping motion where I work on switching my feet and changing direction. So part of this is gonna have my back to you. So I like grab what we call this rip stick. You can also do it with a handle. So maybe I'll show up quickly with both. Um, as I drive off my back leg, I bring this in front of me. And then once I bring it in front of me, I advance both of my hands past my body. I've had some people when they go to do this where this hand kind of pivots like it's, I want to take both hands across and then push them forward. Okay. Now I like to alternate sides when I make this a quicker movement. So I drive off my back leg and I push and I come down and across as I chop. Now this part I'm going to do slowly so it's going to be a little bit awkward but as I come back I'm going to switch my hands. So my top hand becomes my bottom and I'm going to step and I'm going to turn. And you'll see in that turn as I step, I'm going to come right into my chop. So as I come back, I switch my hands and you watch like one foot kind of replaces the others. I turn and then right when I go into that step, I immediately follow with the chop. So a little bit more fluid as I go through it. So I like this because it adds a little bit of tension with somewhat of like a foot speed, agility drill. As I rotate hand position and foot position. And as you get better at it, you try to pick up the speed. But it's not something that you're really ever gonna do with a super heavy weight, because it's a little bit more about moving quickly with a little bit of force. Um, can also be done quickly with a handle instead of a rip stick because not everybody has that and it's the same idea now with this i'm not going to be switching it up and down hand i'm going to be switching more of just my hand through the loop but similar concept